Lee, thanks so much. So glad to have you. So glad to be catching up, chatting with you. A couple questions I have for you. First is, is Lee, how, how have you adapted or how have you reinvented your business right now? Yeah, hey, Andrew. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Um, question, how, did I, how have I reinvented uh, my business during this uh, whole thing? I, I, I don't look at it as much as reinventing my business. However, I do look at it as, as adapting uh, to new realities, uh, new circumstances. I, I don't think that's any different for me or any other business, notwithstanding coronavirus. We have to adapt to changing uh, environments, changing economies, changing consumer tastes all the time. And if you're not recognizing and adapting to that in the regular every day, you, you won't, you're not growing your business or your business is not as fulfilled or as broad based or what have you as it should be. Okay, because you're not taking advantage of the changing circumstances and changing time. So in this changing circumstance and changing time, uh, what I am doing is number one, um, certainly keeping in far better touch with all of my clients. Some of them are working in critical sectors, some of them are working remotely and some of them are in fact shut down right now. Um, I pay a lot of time and attention uh, to my clients that need me because they're operating, but I will say I pay just as much time and attention with my clients that are not operating because when they're not operating is the time to develop their businesses and become better themselves. And I'm not talking about reinventing. I'm talking about adapting. I'm talking about preparing for the eventual reopening. I'm talking about preparing how you're going to get a bigger or better market share or a bigger or better recognition in the community as to other people that have been sitting around just waiting. I love it. I've been, you know, paying attention to the things you've been writing and just, just who you are, knowing you and just your level of leadership. It's, it's been amazing to, to see that. And, you know, I thank you for who you are and what you're doing for the people out there that are paying attention. Um, another question I have for you in the same regard is how do you feel like business owners or people should adapt from a legal standpoint right now? Ah, uh, well, from a legal standpoint, I guess what you're asking me is how are they treating their employees? How are they treating their customers? And, and how are they operating their business? That's a very, very broad question. I will answer it in this perspective. From a legal standpoint, legally operating your business is about following rules and regulations and, and operating within reason. There is a psychosocial aspect to this whole situation. Um, and if you don't see it, you haven't been watching it. It's unbelievable. Um, however, with people will remember if you treated them with respect. And what I mean by respect is respect for their health during the situation. Your employees will, will respect you far better if they know that you are doing the best you can to protect them, take care of them during this situation, and they will know that it's costing you more money to do so, all right? Your customers will understand and respect and feel comfortable coming to see you if you treat them with the respect of, of, of trying to keep them healthy. So the bottom line advice, I know this sounds corny, but the bottom line advice that I've given every one of my clients is when we open or if you're open protect your employees and protect your customers as if you were protecting mom or dad or your child if mom or dad or your child were working next to you shoulder to shoulder in your business what would you be doing to protect them if your mom or dad or child were coming to you as a customer what would you be doing to protect them do those things. You will do well. That is my advice.